the iPhone 15 is a bad device and Apple isn't innovating more is pretty much all I could hear on the internet for a month straight. But over that month, I was thinking, well, well, of course I was thinking, like, I'm, I'm, I'm not dead. But seriously, I was thinking, is it really wrong that Apple isn't innovating on the new iPhone 15? Well, here's what I think. So let's go back to 2012. The smartphone as we know it today was just about to start maturing, not there yet. And so as you can imagine, every hardware upgrade was significant. And not just for the sake of it, there were new apps coming out that demanded extra power and extra features. So to sum that up, the hardware needed to be good enough to run the software that we wanted. Now fast forward to 2023. Let's say you're using an iPhone 12 Pro with the A14 Bionic chipset. That's three years old. Is the chip underpowered for today's needs? No. Can it run everything we want? Yes. Okay, so then now what? The answer, you now have to improve on the software to make the most out of the hardware you already have. One prime example of this is Google's Pixel phones and their cameras. If you put the Google Pixel 8 Pro and the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra's camera specs side by side, you'll see that the Samsung clearly takes the win. Yet the cameras of Google Pixels seem to impress me the most. Why? Because Google software is impeccable. Like, oh my god, the look on my face when I saw Best Take for the first time. That... That's cool. That's cool. It took a problem, and it solved it. Not with a camera upgrade, but with a software upgrade. Or how about Google's unblur feature, which, hence the name, takes a blurry photo and unblurs it. Didn't require a camera upgrade. Oh, well, what about Apple? Well, live voicemail. Anytime that any other person is leaving a voicemail, you can see a live transcript of their voicemail as they're speaking, and you can take over during the middle of their voicemail recording. That's a real problem that needed to be solved. That did not require an iPhone upgrade, and that did not require a carrier update. Apple just pushed out iOS 17 and said, let our software do its magic, and it did. Or how about personal voice, which literally lets you create a clone of your voice on your phone, type in any sentence, and your phone will speak out that sentence in your voice. Not only is that insanely cool, but it's also helpful to anyone who's lost their voice. Again, I sound like a broken record here. You don't need to upgrade your hardware for this. Apple just pushed out iOS 17 and said, let it do its thing. Now, getting back to the original point, is it wrong that Apple didn't do anything really special with the iPhone 15? No, it's not wrong. And I think if Apple can use the same approach that they had with live voicemail and personal voice in iOS 18 features, oh, we could really see something truly special. Okay, anyways, I guess that was it for this video. So thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and also comment down below what you thought. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.